and I traveled to dozens of places across the country uh, and ended up with nine different places that I explored and how the word is passed. Another place I go to end the book is the uh, National Museum of African American History and Culture, but I go there with my grandparents. Uh, my grandfather born in 1930, Jim Crow, Mississippi. My grandmother born in 1940, Jim Crow, Florida. And think about what it means to walk through this museum that is documenting so many things that they experienced firsthand. And to think about how walking through that museum was a reminder for me of my own proximity to this history, that my grandfather's grandfather was enslaved, right? So when my, when my three-year-old son sits on my grandfather's lap, I imagine my grandfather sitting on his grandfather's lap, and I'm reminded how this history that we tell ourselves was so long ago was in fact not that long ago at all. And that the, the, the sort of emotional and linear proximity we have to that period of time was, was just yesterday in the, in the, scope, of, in the scope of history. Um, and I think that it's really important for me to, to think through and reckon with the totality of what that means and how that history uh, and our proximity to it has shaped what the contemporary landscape of inequality looks like. Hachette, 